A ten hut soldiers. Out there in the blistering cold are hundreds of German troops. They killed your sisters and your mothers. They stole your mind's peace. And today, we shall do unto them as they have done unto us. Brothers in arms, members of the Latvian Rifleman Battalion, today we fight. Actually, today we're talking about Blizzard of Souls, or Dveselu Putinis in Latvia. And I'm not a general. I'm Ishan, reporting for Kids First. Let's get into it. A cinematic masterpiece and the Oscar submission from the Baltic nation of Latvia, Blizzard of Souls, or Dveselu Putinis, will take you through a roller coaster of emotions while providing you with a thorough history lesson, especially on the Latvian side. With echoes of prolific war films like 1917, Blizzard of Souls has masterful editing and cinematography, incredible sets and locations, and a talented cast. However, it falls a bit short on explaining major events in the First World War, especially on the Latvian and the Soviet side. Cult Filma took inspiration from true events and the novel by Alexander Grins to create Blizzard of Souls, which follows a teenage boy named Artur Zvanags in Russian-controlled Latvia around the 1910s. Artur's father was a highly decorated commander of a regiment of the Latvian army, and his brother Edgars is focused on carrying on that legacy. Artur's is not exactly the fighting type, not the super aggressive type of person, but when his mother is killed by the Germans, Artur's, his brother, and his father conscript in the National Latvian Rifleman Battalions of the Imperial Russian Army in hopes of getting revenge and finding glory. He experiences many loves, and even more losses, in battle, after which he, among other soldiers, grows a little bit weary of the Russian Tsarist cause, and he feels forgotten by the Tsar of Russia. Artur's must decide whether to stay with his regiment or defect and join his comrades in fighting the Latvian War of Independence and start his life all over again. As you can see, there is a lot happening in this film, and it's really an intriguing plotline that keeps you, you know, attentive and keeps you glued to the screen. Though I am a history buff, um, I am not really at the top of my game when it comes to Latvian War history. I was really hoping for some more battle markers, because all the battles kind of seem to blend together, save for the final conflict that Artur's is involved in, which is the Battle of Kessis. The cast and crew shine in this Baltic beauty. Otto Brantiviks and Raimunds Kelms play the brothers Vanogs, with Otto as Artur's and Raimunds as Edgar's. Raimund is a more experienced actor, but Otto really shines in his performance, with perfectly toned emotions and dialogue. The stoicism of the Latvian army is really well reflected. Their on-screen father is played by Martins Vilsons, whose cerebral, tough personality gives way, at the perfect time, to paternal love. And the Vanag's friends in the film, Mikkel Sons and Konrads, are played by Jakob Zreinis and Gatis Gaga, who excel in their supporting roles with pointed humor and emulating the characters' focused yet free personalities. Behind the scenes, Zintars Dreibergs directed the film meticulously, paying perfect attention to every single historical detail. It's really, really believable. Another beautiful element of Blizzard of Souls is the cinematography by Valdis Kelmans. Viewers can tell that each shot was thoughtfully planned out. There's a large part of one battle sequence that was shot and I think edited in all one take, which really helps the speed of the film. The message of Blizzard of Souls is one of growth. Artur's grows from a young boy to a mature hero throughout this film, and he has to take many tough decisions along the way. It's a positive and relatable message as we all grow as people throughout our lives. There are some scenes for parents to watch out for though. There's a lot of blood and gore, I mean it is a war film, some nudity and profanity given the culture of trench warfare. Overall it's a pretty awesome film. I give Blizzard of Souls 5 stars out of 5 and I recommend it for ages 14 to 18. Adults may enjoy this film as well. Blizzard of Souls is out in theaters and on DVD right now. Alright folks, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ishan Mani, reporting for Kids First, signing off. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and ring that notification bell for all the latest updates. Also, I used a new mic for this video. Let me know your thoughts about the audio and just the overall review in the comments below. Have an amazing 2021. I think this is my first review of the year, pretty sure. Have an amazing, amazing 2021, and have a great day. Bye!